breaking news God strikes out eight defective baseless charges against Nambekano. Okay, we are going to somewhere. A federal high court in Abuja has struck out eight out of the 15 counts filed against Nambekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, by the Nigerian government. Kano is being held by the Department of State Services, DSS, at the headquarters in Abuja after the Nigerian government adopted him from Kenya in June 2021, an option his lawyers deemed illegal, unlawful, or constitutional extradition. He is standing trial on charges bordering on treasonable felony and ter terrorism before the court. Delivering judgment on Friday, Justice Binta Inyako strike out counts 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, fight against Nandekano by the Nigerian government. He is to stand trial on counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, and 15. Mike Ozuk Ozokome, Kano's lead counsel, had described the charges as defective and baseless. He said his application seeks the quashing, striking out, and dismissing of the 15 count amended charge for being incompetent and denying the court of jurisdiction to entertain the suit. The application premised on 34 grants and supported by a 36 paragraph affidavit is also seeking an order acquitting and discharging Nambe Kano. Zokome adopted his application and asked the court to strike out the entire charge. However, Shaibu Labere, the, perse the persecution counsel, Ask the court to dismiss the defendant's application. Meanwhile, Nigerians have reacted to this. Some useless charges done today and one more holders to cross. Counting down in days, it will surely end in praise we move. The DSS is confused. They are saying they can't figure the reason Mazin Nandikano has constantly denied change of plot by the power that be. Zokome asks for bail application. Okay, all the charges are baseless until they charge him for the death of President Muhammad Buhari since 2017, which he continually broadcast and created awareness of. Indeed, Mazen Nandikanu is another savior. Biafra exists. Exists is paramount. Good Nigerians are solidly behind President Muhammad Buhari 100%. We pray that may God Almighty, in his infinite mercy and wisdom, continue to bless and protect and guide the President Muhammad Buhari eminently. Okay? These are reactions by Nigerians. The eight current charges should add to Garaba Sheu, La Mohammed, AGF, Malami, head to persecuting them and the remaining seven we get we go so Femi additional and Brutai and uh, five southeast governors okay all right guys this is funny anyway Mazen and the canoe please stay strong for us all these we pass and victory will be ours at the end <clears throat> The Igbo and Fulani game plan for 2023, Namdi was never arrested by anybody. He surrendered to the Fulani government under the instruction of Igbo leaders, which the condition that Fulani stroke Igbo collation should be restored in 2023. He was asked by the Igbo leaders to surrender to avoid an Indigbo, to avoid an Indigbo Republic as against the Biafra. They wanted. He is expected to support another Fulani for president in 2023. Kano turned himself in to the Fulani-led federal government and was never apprehended. Nam Kano was never arrested by Interpol at all. 
He surrendered to the Fulani-led government of Nigeria on the instruction of number one, Senator Enyinaya Abaribe, the former deputy governor of Abia State, Ike Kwerimadu, the former deputy president of the Nigerian Senate, Chief John Nnangudu, okay, President Buari of President General of the Organizing Digbo. Okay, it is anticipated that Nnamdi Kano will remain in the custody of the Fulani led federal government until after 2023. He would advise the Igbo nation to vote for a Fulani candidate as president of Nigeria in 2023 on the promise that he would be forgiven by him. By him. 1959, the Igbo supported. Okay, I beg, I don't want to go on and on so guys these are some reactions by nigerians and they keep on talking okay someone said here yeah, nigerian government we surely you know beg mazin and the canon for forgiveness okay so so guys if i had it now the nigerian government the can i say the court strikes out eight the 30 baseless charges against Namikan. Okay, with this now, I believe the Nigerians will now understand that the Nigerian government do not actually have any case against this man. The only way peace can reign in Nigeria is they should release him unconditionally. And that is what, you know, Nigerians are saying. Let him be released, let peace reign, okay, in Nigeria. Mazin Namdekanu should be released, let peace reign. In Nigeria. Okay, guys, I'm dropping it here for now. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now. <music>